One commonly used best management practice for chronic wasting disease is increasing deer harvest to reduce density. This video discusses how reducing density may help slow the spread of CWD. Decreasing density may slow the increase in CWD prevalence by lessening the number of direct contacts between deer and reducing the accumulation of prions in the environment. With fewer deer in an area, healthy deer may be less likely to interact with sick deer, decreasing CWD spread. CWD is 100% fatal, and populations may have declined in some areas where CWD has been around a long time. So why should we reduce deer density through increased harvest when CWD eventually reduces density on its own? Deer hunters like to see lots of deer while hunting, and decreasing numbers early by harvest may be undesirable. CWD reduces density at high prevalence rates, but at that point, every second or third deer harvested could be infected. Keeping the rate of CWD low in a population through increased harvest soon after finding CWD in a new area may decrease the rate at which CWD spreads within the population. Although fewer individual deer may be in a region, more harvested deer may be considered safe to eat because they won't be infected. CWD can take years to kill a deer, and that deer may suffer from severe malnutrition and pneumonia before dying. The responsible approach is to remove deer before they become infected and suffer. Overall, by increasing harvest early to reduce density, we may produce a younger and more resilient deer herd with a lower prevalence of CWD and more positive hunting experiences. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos on CWD and deer.